Hello, hello, and welcome back to Licky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Mod Monday. We have six of them, they're amazing, you're gonna love them. Right, so let's get started. First, disclaimer, we have all the mods are made by three different modders. Uh, I have a two front runners for whatever will, uh, whatever the competition for the best mod will be in the future. But yes, we have a couple of front runners. We're gonna start with one of them, and one of them is Novu. You probably heard about him. Most of the buildings you can see here, half of them are built by Novu. The, the latest mod comes, the latest set of building comes in the form of... Uh, housing, waterfront properties. Um, it all started like a Venice construction. Let me read what, what I what, let me read what the mod actually said about this. Extended waterfront property with a view, the finest accommodation in the old world living. Comes in three versions: two on the water uh, and one on land. Right. So this is the building. This is one of the buildings. This is the other one. For some reason, they are absolutely the same. I'm probably missing something. They even look the same from above. The layout of the buildings is similar, if not the same. And uh, I have no idea. I couldn't find the difference. There is a slight difference in price. Maybe it's the big league materials that they're built off. We'll check it now. The third building is this one here. So let me show you what they are. Like this one can house uh, 55 people and both of these can house 160. They can be found in the residen residential uh, section of the your mods and you can find them here. Let's see what they're made of. 129 tons of bricks, 37, 21, 35, 19. Uh, there we go. Um, it's a building material. It would be one is made a little bit more concrete, the other one a little bit more gravel. I'm not really sure what exactly why is that, but um, uh, well, we have two different ones uh, for well, there are different prices, different, and the one here. So all of them, uh, like I said, they can house 160, 160, and 55 people. As uh, with most uh, Novos mods, you can pack them really tight together. And what I love about this is it uses the waterfront. Waterfront is the new... I don't know. I, I think it's just amazing. Uh, if you're not using boats, even if you are, this is going to be amazing addition. You can squeeze out that much little space from your ever-growing cities. Right, the next one. Water wheel. Also made by Novu. We're going to go one by one here. Uh, an old water wheel power plant producing clean renewable energy employs 20 workers. Now, yeah, sure, let's go with that. I mean, this this is a power plant. You can find it in the mods in the in the power plant section. It's the last one we have here and produces 160 megawatts of power. That would be equivalent to let's see what we have here with the smaller ones. Uh, it's even bigger than the smaller smaller solar panels so technically it can produce two and a half just over two and a half megawatts of electricity it's pretty low but i think it's more than they actually could produce with these water wheels so it's a little bit uh, stretched would this be something like um, that can actually work uh, definitely it can power a city at the moment we're only using five to ten percent of electricity from this city now it can be like i said it can be uh, found in a power plant section it costs a a little bit it, it's it's so so on a pricey side here where we're constructing these buildings that would um, it would cost 13,000 rubles so it's quite affordable right continuing on first ever church in communism <laughs> not really now this is the second contender for uh, well in, in my eyes with the mods I'll just love their his mods this is Rob's 074 Rob's uh, 74, and uh, he said this about the church. Church from the 80s based on a real building in Lublin, Poland, serves 100 believers. That's it. Rob's is also a prominent mod maker. He has several buildings. We're going to check them here, and this is one of them. He builds... Real oh, I love Novu because he, he um, puts in a new inspiration, new culture, new art into building the buildings but what Robs does he 
puts in real Soviet reality in the what, what this game is all about. So this is one of the churches built in the 80s when technically religion was kind of forbidden my rear end. But um, uh, yeah, we can build a church now. So this is church for from Lublin and it was built in 80s as far as the more description goes. Um, you can find it here in church section and I can see that there's only I only have one uh, uh, number of workers too. <laughs> I doubt that this number of workers too. Number of workers is zero for the for the churches. But there you go. Thirty thousand rubles. It uses that much heat and that much everything else. It's a church. What can I tell you? From communist point of view, this is well, a church. Right. Uh, let's go on. Here we go. Another one. This is a town hall. Uh, this is a town hall based on a real building. Guess in what city? It's made by Rob074. Yes, Lublin. Uh, employs 20 workers. So this is a city hall, 20 workers. Um, it needs, I think it needs 15, 10 or 15 to, to operate. And it actually shows us even population of our town happiness. And uh, it's fully operational. This is a little mock-up town I, I built uh, for us. And it has everything that we need, hopefully. And uh, you can see here how in, how many people it employs, all the statistics, and it's perfectly functional building. I'm definitely going to be mixing those with some other uh, town hall mods, because this is what Soviet Republic is about. Prefab square buildings, efficient. Square and efficient. Uh, you can find it in the city hall <coughs> section. We have a couple of them here. Cost 10,000 to build, so it's really, really not expensive. If you want to construct it yourself, uh, 32 tons of bricks. I and I said prefabs, right? Oh, right. That's it. The last of the building mods is this one from Rob's 074. Again, small house of culture based on real building in Lublin. You guessed it. Employs five workers and serves about 25 people. 11 people with three workers, so that's about 25 people with fully fully staffed uh, building can be found in mods and it can be found in cinema section they really need to rename that section uh, house of culture maki you can see it here it requires 18 tons of bricks 422 work days to finish and 7367 if you want to build it i'm loving it i'm loving his mods they're so Communisty and these kind of windows my school had this kind of design. Um, yes, I'm loving his mods. I actually I probably have every single mod he made as well as Novus. And uh, this is something that you're gonna that's gonna be common on my maps. So if you want a Soviety stuff, that's it. Now. <laughs> there's something. This map you should recognize. This is a default map, but it's not default map. This map was m made by uh, Toppers 100. It's called the Realistic Start Default Map. I'm gonna read a section or two, not the whole thing. There's a whole freaking Bible written about this map, so go and read it if you wish. This is a basic description of the map. Hey, this map is a thing because... Uh, I, uh, the thing I made because I hate people using trucks instead of trains at the start. Basically, the point of this map is to make a re realistic post-war start. When road networks weren't well but developed, the railway system was dense, small in industry existed, but also damage has been caused by the war. You start off on a default populated map, but uh, remade with additional added infrastructure. Besides the standard things, they are rails, low voltage wooden power lines, abandoned small factories and storages, freight passenger stations, a depot or rail construction office. Some people might find this map not so challenging, however, I don't think it's that way. The challenge here is that after the war, most of the infrastructure has been destroyed. You as a new leader have to manage everything and restore the old glory. You have to place signals on the railway, repair, repair infrastructure and expand the Republic. Build bigger and better industry uh, with a base, which you may seem strong at first, but will make you cry. <laughs> it's nice for a roleplay tool. Yes, I didn't read this previously, and there's a huge, huge description about the lines and what is on the map. I will just go basic. This is the test map I did. Now, you, uh, where we described the rest of the mods, but you can see that uh, uh, all the, all the border crosses are connected with the railroads right now and all the railroads they have these uh, power line poles there technically should be in game i don't think we're gonna uh, anybody will be using them because 
they're not that useful they're really really low voltage and I have no idea what they can power but uh, it will be telegraph poles in real life telegraph poles it was like pretty telephone thingy and uh, yes Leshe, project Leshe from our first series um, this is now how it looks like this is what he made this is how the map looks like now you have warehouses you have uh, cargo train stations you have storage uh, units you have railroad network going to almost every corner but bear in mind it's not functional everywhere you need to work on it you need to invest money in the beginning and uh, you're gonna have to fix everything that needs to be fixed bear in mind that on all the construction even though you have a construction railroad construction office you need to import everything to, to expand the railroads and even the industries that you can find around the map I'm gonna show you several of them so we have some fields here which are technically free and there's a house there I have no idea why uh, a little village uh, farm um, industry is there yes it is you have uh, the big Vavkavisk mine here it's not really that big this is not utilizing everything that it should it's not utilizing uh, the biggest resource of coal you have which would be around here it is utilizing the smaller part over here but if you make this if you connect the, the big storage and the conveyor belts you can have a lot of coal here that you can export coal ore now going to the cities you do have industries you have food factories uh, you have uh, all the infrastructure that you need to start your well some infrastructure that you need to start your industries you have some farms you have even near Vavkavisk you have the oil uh, production not production actually it would be just oil loading you have uh, tanks here oil field is just here in Strakov Strakorov uh, and you just need to build pipelines or whatever you need to, to get oil here and to get oil export so you have infrastructure you have basic stuff here another food production facility here another farming ish area here with a big storage and some fields you need to work on it um, nothing is given here but the transport infrastructure is in place some of it is okay some of it is uh, quite damaged that you can't use it you have to fix it you have to bear in mind you're probably gonna buy a train and find out that it's not really connected to the border because it's interrupted somewhere now the railroads go to Baraharat Baraharat would be um, one of the farming areas we did in the in project last year you can find these videos in the, you know, on my channel um, it has tunnels it has bridges it has a really nice here Volna um, we have a, a railroad construction office here so if you want to continue constructing some of the railroads that you have you can start from here uh, right uh, you have all the old the, um, here we go this is where you can buy your trains as well and let me show you what the rest of the infrastructure looks like it's not it's realistic it's quite realistic it's not ideal definitely you're not gonna find it uh, as a useful threat from the beginning like the description says you're not gonna be raking in millions of Vladimir's um, from the beginning you're gonna have to fix the infrastructure you have to de develop the industry how you want it you have a slaughterhouse here <laughs> lost in the forest by the way just so you know so if you want to start developing something it's definitely gonna take some effort to connect the dots um, continuing on you have this uh, railroad uh, branching on into two ways one of the one of them is going to uh, Lyuslav and one of them is going across the river here which I found I uh, barely found it it was like wow there's a railroad here and uh, actually has a lot of tunnels uh, connects the Zlopolatsk <coughs> uh, here uh, uh, actually it doesn't again you have uh, interrupted railroad here uh, Raka Sebesh let's call it Sebesh connects Raka Sebesh and again it goes towards the border but you're not gonna get to border anytime soon with this railroad in this state you're definitely gonna have to rebuild this and of course it connected to the NATO countries right so this is the map and this is something oh I I'm gonna be playing this in my private time. Maybe we're gonna build the let's plays concerning this uh, this map. We'll see. It's amazing. I'm just loving it. It's it's the the map is amazing, challenging, uh, and it uh, puts a new level, new level on the map. So on the game, I I 
think this is amazing and I'm gonna explore options that I do something like this with our maps before we start them so we can start um, having trains in the beginning. Bear in mind that trains are really really expensive even the shittiest ones. Um, it's not gonna be easy even if you start with trains. Anyway that's it this is the map uh, all the maps all the mods you have in the description down there so uh, go subscribe rate the mods if you think that they're good give them a good grade if you don't think they're good you know what you have to do just ignore them <laughs> i i have no preference here they're all amazing and even now i would like okay since we have uh this no robs kind of competition in my eyes i don't think it guys have any competition with each other um i'm gonna choose this map to be my favorite mod because i love so m I love all of the mods i love all of the mods i love novus mods i love rob's mods uh but i'm gonna choose this one because it definitely opens the floodgates for people to do even if you have an old map you can redo it and make it more challenging build a city or two here and there and that's a and, and a couple of railroad lines that's it that would make it more realistic and amazing. Anyway, what's your favorite mod? What do you think about this? Oh, by the way, there are these collapse bridges everywhere on the map, so you're gonna have to fix those as well. What do you think? Like, subscribe the video to the video, like the, no, subscribe to the channel, yes, like the video, and uh, tell me what's your favorite mod. Comment section. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.